Hello, this is Jen Jones. I want to welcome you to your new TPT Jamboard template slides, the growing bundle. It just will look like this when it opens in your drive and you can view all of the slides by either clicking on the grid view here. I like to uh, sort of get a big picture of all the slides that are available here by um, just kind of looking looking at them this way so you can kind of like get a kind of get a glance at it there of course they're still all populating um anyway going back to the um sort of the panel view there um all of the jamboards are in the google um in the google drive each slide is literally an image or a screenshot of the Jamboard. So this is just an image, okay? This is just an image of the Jamboard. It's not the Jamboard itself. But if you click on any of these screenshots, you'll see the Jamboard link appears in the lower left corner. If you click on that, it will take you to a forced copy of the Jamboard that is previewed in, on the Google slide. And you're going to select make a copy and it'll put it into your Jamboard drive which is well this one is uh, taking you di directly to the Jamboard expectations. Um, a Jamboard is like one set of frames and if you click up here on this rectangle that says expand frame bar you can see that this Jamboard includes four frames and um, if you want to use all four with your students that's fine you just really need to just sort of toggle across the top back and forth the one the the frame that you're working on will have this light blue border around the edge um, but like let's say you don't have more than 25 students so you really don't need this Jamboard number four, this frame number four that has, you know, student 26 or 50 on it. So to get rid of a frame that you no longer want or need, you click on the three dots that are above it and click delete. So, but let's just say that you have three or four or five periods of students and instead of one class of 25, it's five, so you really don't need this one either. So you're gonna go ahead and delete that one. But I would keep these so that when you're doing your lesson, you can go over the expectations with everybody here on this slide, which is just an image. So even if you wanted to move it around, it's still kind of editable for you if you wanted to move it around. But then let's say that you wanted to assign um, assign this activity where kids add a sticky note with their name once they've read the expectations to a square. So you really need more than one of these. So what you can do is you can go up here to the three dots and hit duplicate and you can click those three dots and hit duplicate. So basically you're getting a duplicate of each of those frames. So now you have it for first period, second period, third period, fourth period or fifth period and um, that's how you duplicate it. So like even if I do a, a Jamboard, not this particular one, but if I do a Jamboard that's like a making words activity, then what I will do is I will tell the kids group one works on frame one, group two works on frame two, group three works on frame three. And so when you share the link with students, and this is where you share the link with students in this share button up here, you have to expand the share. You have to click the link for this get link and you have to do the drop down here and select anyone with the link. Now this is to share the Jamboard with your students so they can edit and manipulate on the Jamboard with you. So you have to click anyone with the link and then before you share the link with them, you have to change it from viewer to editor because you want them to be able to, to edit and manipulate on the Jamboard as well. Otherwise, viewer mode just means 
you can do all the manipulation, but they can't move anything around. So you want to click editor because you want them to be able to add sticky notes in their notes and show their work to it. So then you hit done. Um, probably best to copy the link first before you hit done. So copy the link. And then if you are using Google Meet, you just share it in the chat box. You can also share the link through Google um, Classroom, but I always feel like I wanna share the link right then and there in the moment. So I share it in the chat box of Google Meet. You share it in the chat box of Zoom. Kids don't need to have a email account to open a Jamboard when you share it in this way. So that's nice. Um, and then if you, there's one more trick I wanna show you. Um, if you want to, if you create a Jamboard and you wanna use your Jamboard <laughs> with one of my Jamboards, <coughs> currently there's no way to merge Jamboards together. So if you wanna put like this slide in something that you made you go up to these three dots and you select this that says save frame as image. And so you hit save frame as image and it goes into your downloads folder. And then you, did you see where I clicked up there? I clicked there, that yellow J. And then let's say, let's just say you made this, okay? This copy of this battery level check-in. So this was like your morning work and you wanted students to do this. And then you want students to do, um, the um, the lesson that I just downloaded. So you go up here to expand frame bar, you hit the plus sign to add a frame, and then you go to this, that frame and you do, uh, minimize it. And then I'm gonna go over here to add image, select frame from your device, and I'm gonna go to the um, downloads folder that I just saved that one to. So I'm gonna expand this to a list and get it modified to today. There we go, copy of the Jamboard expectations. To find, know where the file is before you can upload it. And there you have it. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it all the way up here to the top corner and drag this all the way down. And that's the main way to, oops, I dragged it too far. That's the main way to get um, boards that you make and boards that I make into one board, into one Jamboard, is to um, use copies. And then once you're done here, then your students will be able to add the sticky notes um, to each um, square like you want them to, and students can put it anywhere they want, and so on and so forth. So I hope that is helpful. Um, I created a free um, two hour PD on how to use Jamboard and it's stored and the recording is stored in my Vimeo channel, which is www.vimeo.com forward slash hello literacy. And if you do have this uh, file, you want to be sure to join the Jamboard Facebook group so we can all help each other. And I can also keep you informed of updates as well. Thank you so much.